Alright, finally I have added the second phone brand on Apex, this is the Xiaomi Mi 11X Pro which may not be a top of the line Xiaomi phone, it sits somewhere between a flagship and a mid-range device on Xiaomi's product line and yet it offers some killer specifications. Now as you all know we do a lot of Samsung One UI reviews, Samsung app update reviews etc. I always wanted to explore other brands and see how well they optimize Android with their skin. Are they as good as One UI or better than One UI? This is what we will be focusing on as far as this device is concerned and as a member of this Apex family you will continue to see Samsung contents and also know more about other brand skins, stock applications etc. And I also invite the Xiaomi fans to be a part of this community to explore Samsung's One UI and perhaps many more brands to be added in the future. Now coming to this device, this costed me about 400 US dollars or 30,000 Indian rupees with no cost AMI option as well. I found this to be a fantastic deal for the purpose I am buying this phone for. This was launched in the month of May this year itself. Now let me share some information about the specifications on this device. This comes with 6.67 inches Super AMOLED 120Hz panel with HDR10 Plus and the peak brightness here is about 1300 nits. Believe me guys, the display is really gorgeous. With 120Hz, it is buttery smooth and it's a pleasure looking at this display. Now, as far as the processor is concerned, we have got Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G, which is a 5 nanometer chip and this is paired with Adreno 660. The device I have here is 128GB with 8GB RAM. We also get an option of 256GB with 8GB RAM. As far as the camera specs are concerned, we have got 108 megapixel wide angle, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 5 megapixel macro. All these three lenses are sitting on the camera module at the rear. They are capable of recording 8K at 30 FPS and 4K at 30 or 60 FPS. The selfie camera is 20 megapixel. We do get stereo speakers here. I wouldn't say it sounds great, it's kind of mediocre and you can also feel the vibration on the back of this phone when you play something loud. Now coming to the battery, this device gets 4520mAh battery with fast charging 33 watts. As per the Xiaomi's claims, 100% charge is possible in just 52 minutes. The color I have here is Celestial Silver. It also comes with a couple of other color options. As you can see, this has this matte finish on the back and looks really gorgeous. And the best part is it shimmers in different colors depending on the angle you hold the phone or perhaps depending on the angle of the light hitting the phone. These are some amazing specifications we have here on this device and while we get all these there are a few compromises such as Gorilla Glass 5, no IP rating, no headphone jack etc. I would say these are not deal breakers at this price point. I would compare a Galaxy A72 to this phone which also offers some amazing specifications. The A72 offers IP ratings, AMOLED panel, stereo speakers, good cameras but it rocks Snapdragon 750G with Adreno 619 which is a bummer. So both these devices have their own advantages and disadvantages. Anyways, this is a Xiaomi device which is now added on the channel for contents related to operating system reviews and comparisons stock app comparisons, update related contents etc. The channel will continue to post Samsung contents along with that you will get to explore MIUI as well. You guys let me know which other devices you want me to add next on the channel. Is it a Pixel, OnePlus, iPhone, Vivo? Let me know in the comment section below. Now as soon as I logged into the phone, there were too many updates for the system apps and also the major MIUI 12.5 was available. I was quite excited to see that. Out of the box it comes with MIUI 12 which is based on Android 11. This is of course the first time I'm using MIUI and it definitely looks promising. I'm going to explore more in the coming days. That's all I have here in this video. Stay tuned for some cool contents coming up in the future. And if you haven't become a part of the Apex community yet, make sure you subscribe and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.